North Korea was knocked offline for most of the day today. Service is back online tonight. But the question remains, was it retaliation for the devastating attack on Sony Pictures? KCALINE Serene Branson is live tonight in Culver City. She spoke with experts about who could be behind this latest round of what appears to be cyber warfare. Serene. And Susie, we're told that in North Korea, things wouldn't have been affected too much anyway because a lot of the material is censored. That the U.S. government has not commented on any involvement, but experts we spoke with said they'd be surprised if the government was behind this. Instead, they say it has the markings of a smaller group of cyber attackers. I think it probably is grassroots because of the bandwidth, the limited number of connections. Uh, it's the kind of thing that a small number of individuals could do. Professor Clifford Newman, head of USC's computer security department, says he doesn't think it would be worth the U.S. government's time to shut down a system that North Korean citizens don't even have access to. But someone may be trying to send a message. It wouldn't take that many people coming together in sort of a lone wolf style almost to mount this kind of attack. Clifford says what's called a denial of service attack essentially overloads the system with repeated requests. There are only four links into North Korea from the rest of the internet. All four of those links go through China and they're not particularly fast links. That means it doesn't take much to mount that kind of denial of, of service attack. Friday, the FBI said North Korea was responsible for the attack on Sony Pictures. Sony pulled the Christmas Day release of the interview based on the assassination attempt of Kim Jong-un after hackers threatened violence on theaters. But now Arthouse Convergence, which represents independent theaters like Lemley here in Southern California, told Sony they'd screen the film. We thought in our small way that we might be able to help if they were interested in distributing the film uh, across North America and some of the art house theaters. Uh, we're used to taking uh, risks with exhibition. Speaking via Skype, the group's director said it's about a tradition of creative expression. Each theater is going to have to assess the, uh, the risk uh, in terms of public safety, safety of their employees. Uh, and independent theaters do this uh, on, a, on a fairly regular basis in showing controversial documentaries or controversial films. Now, Art House Convergence tells us that they have not yet heard back from Sony Pictures on their offer. We did reach out to Sony today for both comments on the North Korea situation as well as the offer from independent theaters. They told us that they had no comment on either topic. Reporting live tonight from Culver City, Serene Branson, KCAL 9 News.